Hello guys, it's Sebastian and welcome back to this podcast and welcome to the second episode of my pawn podcast. So for today, we would be talking about, <laughs> it's actually in my notes of my phone. So basically today's topic would mainly talk about um, taking care of ourselves, how we can do it. And basically um, a lot of factors that might also contribute into our health, not only our physical, but also um, the different aspects of health, like the mental, spiritual even, and all that. But before that, of course, here's just a short disclaimer that I am not in one way or another like a professional or like the most knowledgeable person when it comes to this topic. So basically, I might not go in depth as you guys would want me to, or at least as some of you guys would want me to, but I'll try to just share based on my personal experience um, how we can take care of ourselves and how we could be, in a way, be kinder to ourselves. So basically, that's what the focus of this episode would be. That would be about um, self-care. But before we dive into the podcast proper or the topic proper of this episode, I would also just want to kind of update you guys of how I've been doing because it has actually been kind of like how many weeks of not filming though it is not noticeable in my youtube channel just because i have a lot of videos already like they're already piled up ready to just be uploaded so if i were not to shoot a video for example this week or like the last week you guys wouldn't notice it because all of my videos like all the videos that i have here right now i still have a lot so it could cover up the whole month of april i feel like and yeah so that's why last week and this week i decided to um take a break because of some things as well so yeah i just wanted to also take a break and to just um just take a rest and focus more on myself um i do not mean that in a narcissistic tone but yep I just wanted to also reconnect with myself in a way and to go back to my roots because I feel like I have this tendency to lose my groundedness whenever I get overwhelmed and just whenever I just go with the flow of life and I, you know, I wouldn't want that to happen. So I like to keep myself grounded as much as I can, most especially every now and then. Yeah, that's just a short update of how I've been doing. Um, It's actually... Yeah, since I've said a while ago, that has actually been a while since the last time I filmed a video or even recorded a podcast episode. Yeah, I'm not that I'm nervous today, but it just feels different (laughs) again because it's been a while. Yeah, like what I've said a while ago. Yeah, and yeah, for my first podcast episode, I haven't promoted it yet, but I've already uploaded it. On Spotify, I was already able to upload it there and also to other streaming platforms, iTunes being one of them as well. So I'm just super duper happy that I was able to make things work. And yeah, I was also supposed to publish my first episode of my podcast, which is this Pohan, in all the streaming platforms the day that I would promote the podcast itself, like the launch of the podcast itself. But I was just super nervous. Like, what if this podcast would not be up on Spotify and iTunes the same day that I would be uploading my first ever podcast episode in my YouTube channel? And so that's the problem that I've had. And so I just thought to myself, maybe I need to upload it onto Spotify and iTunes earlier. That way, you know, everything would just be more polished and I would worry less later on whenever i'd be launching my podcast onto youtube and yeah i'm just super duper excited um i at this day today is the 3rd of april by the way (laughs) just for you guys to have a context of when i'm filming this one and i haven't promoted yet i was supposed to promote it like yesterday which is friday the good friday but i decided not to shoot because you know it is good friday And so I would just be uploading that one next week. But whenever this podcast, this second episode will already be up. You know, the first episode was probably posted like a week ago or two already. So yeah, those are just the updates that I have for you guys. How I've been doing, what I've been doing. And 
yeah, for today is actually a great day, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking if I should start my podcast episodes, like kind of like a diary-ish, wherein I would be sharing with you guys how my day went or just update you guys to make it up for the lack of social interaction that I've been having. Um, but I'm pretty much sure that I'm not the only one who's having um, a slight deterioration <laughs> in my social interaction because all of us are having that same problem as well. So, yep, going back to the topic of today's episode, which is taking care of ourselves, given that we are in this worldwide pandemic, wherein the numbers are just, <laughs> I don't want to say this, but it just keeps on increasing. Um, the best way we can do to somewhat help in flattening the curve is to just really go out whenever we need to. That is a way in taking care of our health when it comes to the physical aspect, following health protocols, and also, you know, strengthening our immune system by um, taking up vitamin C's, multivitamins, and all that shebang. And I've been doing that lately. If you guys haven't seen my morning routine or how to start off your mornings the right way video, I actually have that on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is named It's Sebastian. If you guys didn't know that yet, or if you guys are new to this podcast or in this YouTube channel, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your stay and hopefully you would want to stay for a bit longer. And yeah. So that's it for the physical side. And lately, I've also been wanting to start getting into workouts or exercising once again. Because the last time that I've done a workout was like when the first enhanced community quarantine began, which is like literally last year. So it's really been a while since the last time that I did a workout. So that's what I'm planning to do. Not actually anytime soon, like not next week, just because... We still have classes and you see my problem is that I could do like workouts first week of like whenever would be back from a long weekend or something like that but whenever we would now go on into the latter parts of our online classes that's when the requirements would just come in and throughout the day I have this tendency to lose track of the time thus not allowing me anymore to have a workout or to do one that's why i feel like i would already just start doing workouts again um once summer hits but yeah that's what i've been planning but i'm trying to kind of like make it work with my schedule but i don't know i feel like this is just not the right time for it um i haven't been in the right headspace for the past weeks that's why i also decided not to shoot a video this week <laughs> except for this podcast episode and last week yeah that's just about it for the physical health as to what i know we could do and also sleeping early i have been trying to improve my body clock lately and i've been trying to sleep earlier but yeah here i am again recording this podcast episode at 11 40 in the evening and i don't know what time i'd be finished recording this one but yeah it's been a great day so that will make up for everything tonight and yeah i've been trying to sleep earlier lately a thing that i've been doing is meditating before sleeping because it helps me sleep easier if that makes any sense at all and also as much as i'd want to use my phone past 12 or like past 11 30 i just do not use my phone or, or at least i try to not use my phone because that's the thing that keeps me up at like who knows what time and yeah that's just a thing that i've been trying to do lately is to stay away from my phone more often just because i don't find it being friendly to my overall health and i don't want that to fully consume my life I also want to take small breaks without that break being something that is related to using your phone or something like that. I don't want it to be like, oh, today is my rest day. So basically, I would just watch YouTube all day. I would just scroll through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and all that shebang. But, you know, I'd also want some time to just rest and 
just rest, just breathe, just be with my family more, just be with my parents more, just, you know, just stay away from my phone for a while, even though that's the only way how I reach my friends. But, you know, they might also have some stuff that they're doing. So yeah, maybe at this time we should just be with our families more than ever. And yeah, I'm just so blessed that I have a strong support system from my family, from my friends as well. Yeah, I'm just super duper thankful for that. And yeah, that is basically the emotional or mental side, how we can take care of ourselves and how we can be kinder with ourselves, most especially to students like me who are under this online class. We have this tendency to put more pressure on ourselves just because, you know, this time is the time where we could just solely and directly and to strictly um, focus on ourselves and set these high expectations that, you know, we can actually meet those expectations, but sometimes it requires to give us a lot of what we have that we just end up with nothing by the end of the day, which is actually so, so devastating, super duper sad. Um, that is a problem that I'm still working on. I am trying to remind myself every day that I am not perfect, but even so, I still strive for perfection because I see sometimes my worth as a person on the amount of the works that I'd be able to do in a day, which just results to overworking because if I do not finish, for example, this much tasks in a day, I wouldn't see myself as someone who is uh, successful or someone who is who has done a lot in a day. You know, I want to be the person who has finished a lot in a day and not just a person who has finished a lot in a day, but also whose works are like super duper high quality. So it's kind of like too much for myself to handle sometimes. Uh, actually not sometimes, it's actually all the time, but I've just been trying to be kinder to myself by accepting that I cannot always be who I want me to be. Um, not that I'm giving up on myself, but uh, um, I mean, I j would just want to lessen the pressure that I put on myself because I feel like sometimes the heaviest pressure that we are carrying are also the ones that are coming from us or maybe that's just for me but yeah that's how i've been seeing it lately and that's how i've been thinking about it to be honest and yeah again if you would not be able to take care of that it could it could actually ruin you it would ruin you um yeah that's why i've also been trying to yeah like what i've said a while ago just embrace who I really am, my capabilities, my strengths, know my weaknesses, and turn those weaknesses into motivation for you to become, or for me to become a better person. Sometimes, though, I feel that hard to do because I have this tendency to just dwell on the weaknesses that I have and to discredit myself for the things that I've achieved through the hard work and constant working beating up myself scenario but yeah lately i really have been trying but i'm failing though but i'm really trying to be kinder to myself by removing some pressure off because putting too much pressure on yourself is worse than carrying other people's expectations about you all the time i feel like just because you know for example if you have set this specific standard for yourself and then you reach it so what happens next the only way to go is up so you know we our expectations for ourselves or the pressure or the wall that we build for ourselves to overcome just keeps on getting higher every time and you know it would just be a lot to internalize in the latter part of life and it would just be you know that wall would just be too high for our future selves to climb one day you know i feel like i'm good at talking about things like this but 
I cannot seem to find a solution as to what I can do to lessen the pressure. Because even though I know to myself that I should lessen the pressure, I cannot seem to find a way on how I can do it without having to think that I am less of a person just because, you know, lesser expectations. Personally, I have this tendency to think that it equates to lesser worth or lower quality of a person. <laughs> I know that sounds super duper toxic. That is a problem that I've been having with myself. That's why I really want to remove that toxicity. And I'd also want to just once not rush the progress of life. I know I say too often to my friends that we should trust the process and all that, but I cannot really apply that to myself. If you are just forcing yourself for the sake of you feeling good about yourself, is that even being truly happy? Does that really bring you genuine happiness? Or are you just merely sacrificing your authenticity as a person for you to meet the standards you've set for yourself? That is a question to ponder on or to think about. Also in health, we could also have this spiritual one, which I'm improving day by day. And actually all the aspects of health, given that that's the topic for today's episode, um, it is a process, a continuous process. I feel like it would actually even never end. But by the end of the day or at the end of our journey in life, the question or the ultimate question we need to answer is that were we really genuinely happy of the things that we've achieved or every time we achieve something do we just want to achieve more? So are we more focused on the things that we are achieving or are we always constantly longing for more than that? I know it is a great motivation to always move forward, but moving forward doesn't always require you to always go upward as well. You could go forward in a constant manner without having to constantly put this heavy pressure on yourself. You know, you could all go forward without having to increase your expectations from yourself in every step of the way. We could all go into that smooth progress of life and not in a dramatic progress and like big leaps and all that. You know, baby steps are also great in this, most especially in this time of a health crisis, just because, you know, this pandemic itself isn't good to our overall health, um, be it in physical because, you know, the virus itself emotional, mental, and spiritual, given that we are away from a lot of people that include our friends. For some people, they're even away from their families, from their relatives. And, you know, taking care of yourself at this time is like super duper important. You know, we just never know what people are going through at this point in time, most especially that not everybody is that open to social media. So, you know, nothing would be taken away from me if you, if you message your friend, oh, how, hey, how have you been doing? It's been a while since the last time we talked. Um, yeah, it pays to look after each other, most especially that we're under the wrath of a pandemic, of the COVID-19 pandemic, of an invisible, almost, killer. And, you know... Just take care of yourself, guys. And I hope that one day, you know, when all of this would come to an end, I mean, the pandemic, I hope the things that we've done right now or the things that we're doing right now would be worth it. Or the things that we're going through right now, the things that we've gone through, I just hope that all those would be worth it one day. 
um, most especially when this COVID w- would already uh, come to an end. And I just can't wait for that to happen. This online classes, I'm not sure if I'm still vibing with it. Um, to be honest, I've been having a hard time also um, finding motivation and inspiration in this online classes setup. Just because, I don't know, at the start of this online classes, I was just like, chill. I mean, even up to this day, I'm kind of like pretty chill, okay, with school. Except I overwork a lot. But besides that, yeah, sometimes I just have this tendency to force myself to find the motivation and inspiration, which is actually not that good because it could easily result to you getting burnt out in the long run or not even in the long run like just if you do that for a straight week that would already make you feel tired instantly that's why it's also important to take small breaks and you know i feel like this pandemic just revealed to us how people work under different environments and how it could easily affect a lot of people as well just a slight shift of this pandemic to the world boom we have this problem we have another one and a lot of problems intensified through this pandemic or this virus in general one is racism for example and fascism also misogyny and all that a lot of things just flourished even bigger just because of this pandemic it revealed or it exposed to us a lot of dirty works of different sectors in a community and i feel like i went beyond what i'm supposed to talk about today but that's just basically it take care of yourself guys um and please 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 don't go out when you really need not to or whenever you know friends can wait even though we all lack the feeling of social interaction already but please if it isn't anything that is really important urgent or serious just don't go out yet most especially from the philippines um we are already in the top 10 of the most number of cases in the whole world it still shocks me that we are in the top 10 because some of the countries that are even poorer than us are not even in the top 10 and the active cases that we have right now as compared to them like there is indeed a noticeable gap so you know to those people who just go out just because they want to um you know maybe we could stay in our houses a little bit longer um yeah i've been doing it for quite some time now and yeah it might not be the biggest help to our mental health but i don't know I know that we are all different, but what I've been doing is I've been connecting to myself through doing the hobbies that I love. For example, one is painting, reading books, though I haven't read a book in quarantine. Yeah, I haven't read a single book in quarantine. Yes, because my mind is that messy to begin with. So, you know, I feel like my attention span could just never my attention span could never dare finish a single book you know i have this tendency to always read the news but whenever i get overwhelmed i tend not to just look at it just because it gives me so much stress and all that but i wouldn't want to reach that state that i'm privileged enough to not know what's happening around me you know to be informed of what's happening around you is the least you can do to help in a way flatten the curve and yeah i don't know what i'm talking about so i might just end the podcast here <laughs> because you know i might sound like i'm complaining and some people would be like oh you're complaining then why you're not providing a solution i mean come on people are serving for a reason but you know as long as you also do our part in helping flattening the curve then i feel like it would just be okay i don't know if i'm probably just romanticizing this Um, pandemic but i feel like you know if we work hand in hand like together maybe we could really end it or somewhat flatten it like what other countries have done and yeah that's just about it for the second episode of my podcast sorry if it was all over the place but yeah here is again a smaller reminder for you guys to take care of yourselves and please 
follow the health protocols if you were to go outside and again like what i've said a while ago please do not go out just yet if you do not really need to or just you know just don't go out if you just want to go out for the sake of just going out i feel like i said going out too much in that sentence that i don't even know if that made any sense at all already but yeah you get my point right like just don't go out just for the sake of your sanity uh think about other people as well yeah that would basically be it for this podcast episode this is a second episode and i'm super duper excited super super duper happy to be doing more podcast episodes with you guys and if you are listening to my podcast from itunes please give it a star or two three four five stars i don't know it's definitely up to you but it would be of so much help if you were to rate it or to even write a review about it and yeah that would basically just be it for this podcast episode yeah i hope you guys learned a thing or two about this one i don't know if you can even learn a thing or two about this podcast episode but i just hope that i don't know i just hope that this podcast just give you a I was about to say give it a breath of fresh air, but I realized that, you know, the whole podcast was basically just me ranting the whole time. Um, So yeah, I just hope that this podcast episode made you realize of things you haven't thought of before. So yeah, that would basically be it for this episode. This has been Sebastian, and I hope that we could spread love a little more often. I'll see you on my next episode. Bye-bye.